I have a message that I want to go ahead and uh, kind of clear out my head before I, you know, forget some things. But over, really, I would I would claim to say over the past two years, but in this season, in this in these this month and the last month, especially this this season right now, this moment right now, God has really been putting on my head, placing in my ears like the the word plan, and to like plan my vision out. Uh, for, for a while now, he's, he's been like every almost every conversation in this past week or the last two weeks, almost every conversation or something that I hear, it's been Sam talking about planning. Like I had a conversation with some relatives of mine, and they talked about yeah, you know, you need to really you know, just make sure you have a plan or just text message I might be having with somebody that talk about plan. I'm like, dang God, you really been hitting me over the head with this word plan. And like, I watched the movie, the King Richard movie. Uh, and in the in King Richard movie, the like theme of the movie was how this how Venus and Serena movie, uh, Williams, their dad, they were played uh, by the dad was played by Will Smith, but Venus and Serena Williams, their father, basically he planned their lives like how they how they were going to be successful. Like he said in the movie, like I, I got a plan. He kept saying it. I got a plan. Like before y'all were even like you know to this moment, I had a plan for y'all. Like I, I uh, had seventy eight pages worth of. Of, of me planning y'all lives like how everything was going to happen and stuff like that and everything he had in his plan basically that's how they're successful that's how uh their life turned out and so it just really that watching that movie really solidified uh what god was saying he was saying like you know right now is a very vital important season in your life that you really what's going to come uh ahead of you in this next season rob you really need to have a plan like um like uh you just really need to have a plan and like i had it in my in my head I, I believe god gave it to me it's like how you see yourself in your mind the vision that you have for yourself is what you're going to be in the future like what you see yourself in at in the future like when you you know coming home back home and uh doing vacation or visiting family and the perspective how people see you how they want how you want them to see you like right now is the time for you to start sculpting that and i'm going to help you along the way uh, i believe that's what god is telling me like the presence that I want to have, the the impact that I want to have, like the vision that I have for myself, it's it's reality. It's going to be there, but I have to start actually strategically making the plan to get there to where I want to be in life. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and also here, I mean, God saying like, take inventory for where you're at right now. Like, uh, this is a couple. This is a scripture that I heard a couple times in the past. Maybe 48 hours is the scripture with the uh, with the woman that uh, I think she had debt or something like that, and uh, she went to I think a prophet Elijah or something like that. He basically asked her like, "What does she have in her house?" And she said she just have a pot of oil. Like I believe God is asking us or asking me in this season like, take inventory of what you have in your life, Rob. Like really like how much income you know like pay attention to these things, document these things because what I'm about to do in your life. It's gonna take for you to know where you're at right now in order for you to get where you wanna be in the future. Like, you need to have a strategic plan of how you're gonna take for what God has given, what I have given you, God has given me in this season, uh, and what He's gonna give me in the future. Like, the the in between the starting point of right now and the end point of work where, where I wanna be after this season is over, like, in the middle of all that, I need to have a plan on how I'm gonna to get to where I wanna go. If that makes sense uh yeah i just want to kind of do a video on this like on Mr. conversation channel maybe i don't know if this is the video but i mean i, I just don't see this being a video because i'm like the sound is probably you probably hear the tires on my car and stuff like that but i'm not gonna overthink it but uh yeah this this is something that i feel like god has been saying to me i'm like i know i have you know some relatives that are close to me and and they, I believe this word is also for them. Like, I believe I'm a trailblazer in, in, in uh, multiple, various different ways. God used me to be a trailblazer. Uh, he gave me just that mindset and that calling, I believe. And, and uh, you know, it's not, it's not for all this, this, you know, what he's given me is not just for me. Like, it's not for me to be a reservoir, just hold it up and shelter it and hold it from everybody else. Cause then it's gonna corrupt me. It's gonna eat me on the inside and out because I didn't share what, you know, God, I didn't air it out and let the rest of the world see it. 
but I want to be a river like that. You know, when God's give me something, I'll channel it to the rest of the world, like to the rest of my family members, or whoever he called me to, to uh, channel it to. So God, I thank you God for giving me instructions on how to make this plan. Like right now, it's, it's planning time. I feel I feel that strongly that that's what God is telling me. It's planning time. It's really time for you to get your plan together. Uh, and I understand what you're going to be doing, not only in this next semester, because this is my last semester in school. It, it sounds unbelievable to say it, but yeah, this is my last semester in school. But after this, it's going to be so much, so many things going to be probably thrown at me. And so many opportunities, I believe in my faith, it's, it's going to be so many opportunities and so many uh, things. Like, I'm going to have at least three options of, of where I can go. And it's, it's not going to be any shackles on me, Lord. Thank you, God. I'm going to have the freedom to decide. And uh, there's a prophet, he, he was saying on a YouTube video, he said, uh, basically, someone's going to ask, come up to you and ask you, what do you need? Like, that's why it's so important for you to have inventory on what you, what you have in this season and what you need to what you need in the future in order to get where you need to go because someone's going to come to you and ask you what do you need if you don't have that plan you won't know what you what you need in the next season or you won't know what you need in order to keep building in the season so i i, I say it strongly like take inventory of where you're at right now take inventory of what you have in this season and start planning it out start planning out what the talents what's the skills i have what the education i have what's the finances i have what's What's my heart like in this season? Like, and you know, where do I want myself to look like in the future? Where, how do I want to love? How do I want to have joy? How do I want my community to look like? How do I want my vision to look like? How do I want my business to look like? How do I want my finances to look like? Because soon someone is going to come and ask you, like, what do you have? What do you need? How can I help assist you? If you don't know, like, you know, you're going to be like, like the the woman uh, that had the pot of oil, like she. The, basically the prophet told her to go and borrow vessels and so they had all these vessels all these vessels poured out uh, or not poured out but all these vessels set out and she had this one pot of oil and to the capacity that she's able to have all, or to all these vessels that she had laid out she had the much oil Lord help me say this right the capacity that she had to fill was up to her like the oil was going to be unlimited like as much as she poured or as much as vessels she had, that's how much the oil was going to pour out. So eventually the oil stopped pouring because she didn't have any more vessels to pour. All the vessels that she set out, literally every single vessel that she set out, every pot that she set out and she poured the oil, the oil did not stop flowing. The only time the oil stopped pouring is when she had limited her capacity to have vessels. Like, so I hear that's, that's what guys are saying. Like, I have enough uh, anointing, I have enough provision for you, I have enough blessing for you as much as you have planned out. If you have the next 10 years planned out, I have enough, more than enough to fill that those 10 years. But if you only have this semester, you only have this, you know, to the end of this spring uh, planned out, you're, you're going to get only that. And you're going to be like, dang, I wonder what would happen if I would have kept leaving. I wonder what would happen if I kept planned, planning out. Uh, what I want my life to look like. So like I see it in my head, like I'm, I'm gonna at least try to plan this next 10 years on my own, uh, not on my own, like, you know, my own doing, but like I'm asking God to give me wisdom for the next 10 years, but I'm believing that he's gonna give me even more than 10 years. I believe that this is gonna be like a journal that every every day, every month that I, I add on, it's gonna be like a book uh, that God is really gonna do something supernatural more than I can ever understand it right now, understand right now. And I believe God has given me capacity to think big, but uh, more than enough uh, or more than ever, I need to, you know, like the scripture says, faith without works is dead. Like, you know, I've been putting forth some work. Like God has, you know, seen my work and he's been blessing me more than uh, my work has probably uh, deserved. But, um, you know, in this planning season, it's, it's faith and work. Like you got to plan for this. You got to work in this. You know, you, know, you got to get your blueprint on it. Uh, how you want your faith to look like? How you gonna, you know, build your home? How you gonna build your vision? I'm just kind of saying stuff now, but uh, yeah, that's that's what's been on my head, Lord. And I believe it's gonna come to pass. Whatever God is placed in my heart, I just need to plan this up, and not not let go of this vision. And everything is gonna come to pass. And God is gonna have me to write this out. He's gonna give me wisdom on what to write, and I'm gonna have abundance in Jesus' name. Amen.